Hey everyone, and welcome to the Mark 10 mission. We are the Mark 10 mission because in Mark's gospel, chapter 10, Jesus says, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to them. We want to help you meet with Jesus in your heart. Every week we gather together, listen to his holy word and be with him in prayer. Being with Jesus inspires us to be like him. This week, we are partnering with our friends at Aid to the Church in Need and inviting you to do Jesus's work in the world. We've chosen a beautiful gospel for our celebration today. Jesus shares with us a parable about a man who is in desperate need of help on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. It's called the Good Samaritan. It's time for us to begin. I invite you to be still, alert, and ready to open your heart to the words of the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a lawyer who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbour as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this, and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of brigands. They took all he had, beat him and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be travelling down the same road, but when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. In the same way, A Levite who had come to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveller who came upon him was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. He then lifted him onto his mount, carried him to the inn and looked after him. Next day, he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbour to the man who fell into the brigand's hands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. Jesus said to him, Go, and do the same yourself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel, what did you hear? The parable of the Good Samaritan is one of the most beautiful stories Jesus ever told. We can take so much from it. When we feel like we are down, hurt, and in need of healing, the parable reminds us that Jesus is always there to pick us up, carry us, and heal us. The parable is also a call to action. As followers of Jesus, we try every day to be more like him, to do the things he does. He asks us to help and heal those who are in need. Like St. Teresa of Avila said, Jesus has no feet or hands on earth, 
but yours. Our faith in Jesus isn't just about nice ideas. It's about doing stuff. So we are joining our friends at Aid to the Church in Need to be like Jesus and support those who need a massive helping hand. Aid to the Church in Need are an amazing international charity. This year, they are particularly focusing on the crisis in Nigeria. This is maybe the hardest place on the planet to be a Christian. I'm just going to give you the facts, plain and simple. In the last 12 years, 43,000 Christians have been killed in Nigeria by terrorists. 17,500 churches have been attacked and 2,000 Christian schools have been destroyed. This isn't a war. It's normal people living simple lives being randomly attacked. Why? Because Fulani herdsmen and a group called ISIS have made it their aim to wipe out Christianity from West Africa. I bet you didn't know much about this crisis. The sad truth is, the mainstream media have stopped reporting on it because it just happens every day. Lots of people are ignoring this situation, but you don't have to. On November 20th, you can act and help the Christians of Nigeria and hundreds of thousands more around the world. November 20th is Red Wednesday, and across the nations, churches and schools will be illuminated red to break the silence and raise awareness about Christian persecution. It's an amazing chance to come together in prayer and alert world leaders to the plight of suffering Christians. Prayer is always the greatest way we can help others. But let's be real, money is also needed. ACN are aiming to raise £500,000 for their work in Africa, Asia, the Middle East and Central America. There's no time to waste because all money raised before Christmas will be doubled. On Red Wednesday, or in the weeks afterwards, maybe through Advent, you and your school can come together and help aid to the church in need. Schools across the country will be wearing red, holding cake sales, or using other ideas to support this amazing charity. This money can help many projects, including the mission to support the 4 million people who have lost their homes in Nigeria. It will mean thousands of young people can go to school, priests will be trained, and destroyed churches will be rebuilt. Jesus calls you and me to step out like good Samaritans and help those in desperate need. Let's support those who are trying to rebuild their lives and Christian communities in need by taking part in Red Wednesday. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to close your eyes. Be still. Jesus is here. Jesus is like a good Samaritan. He's always there to pick you up when you feel down and out. He can heal your hurts and carry you when you feel like you can't go on. Do you need Jesus to help you today? Invite him in. There are so many people in our world who struggle every day. In your own words, you can pray for them now, asking Jesus to strengthen them, encourage them, and keep them safe. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your Shine through
longing for peace Our world is troubled Longing for hope Many despair Your word alone Has power to save us Make us your living voice Christ be our light Shine in our hearts Shine through the darkness Christ be our light Shine in your church Gather today Longing for food Many are hungry Longing for water Many still thirst Make us your bread Broken for others Shared until all are well Christ be our light Shine in our hearts Shine through the darkness Christ be our light Shine in your church Gather today Longing for shelter Many are homeless Longing for warmth Many are cold Make us your building Sheltering others Walls made of living stone Christ be our light Shine in our hearts Shine through the darkness Christ be Your Mark 10 mission is to take part in Red Wednesday and support aid to the church in need. It would be wonderful if you could do this as a school, but if that's not possible, you personally could choose to wear something red, perhaps in your hair or on your wrist. Every person can play a part to break the silence about Christian persecution and show the world that they care about those in need. Thank you for joining us today. Jesus' parable of the Good Samaritan showed us that we are called to help those in need. We hope that you've been inspired to be a part of Red Wednesday. We know that schools have many different charities they support, but we really believe that aid to the church in need are one we should all try our best to get behind. There's more information about Red Wednesday and aid to the church in need on our website as well as a live stream happening for schools on November 20th. As always, it's been wonderful to come together for this time with Jesus. We hope you can join us next time as we celebrate the final Sunday of the liturgical year, the Solemnity of Christ the King. We hope you have an amazing week and look forward to seeing you again soon on the Mark 10 mission. Bye everyone. <laughs>